Hello YouTube, this is Jimmy Bay, Jimmy Bay, and today's experiment is going to be on dry ice. What is dry ice? It is frozen carbon dioxide. You may also be wondering, how cold is this frozen carbon dioxide? It is 109 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. So, since it's that cold, that means you should worry about not getting burned or frostbite. So all you have to do is just wear gloves, don't hold it too long, and I now even use a towel because before I got a little, little burn, but it's fine. Um, tongs, pick up the small pieces so you don't have to use contact. And just showing you how cold this is, did you hear that? That is how cold it is. When it reacts with metal, it, it actually makes a sound how cold it is. Look at my gloves, they're a little wet now. I hold it there. Did you see that? It turns white. It turns into ice that fast. So for the first little experiment is you're going to need some warm water, not boiling, put it in a cup and drop some ice in there. As you see, start to smoke. Okay? For the next experiment, you're going to use the same thing but I'll do it in a cup actually this time. You put this ice into about a cup with a mug with water. It's gonna boil. Then you take some liquid soap and do nine squeezes. As you see, we put this over here. It's forming bubbles. But these aren't just regular bubbles. These are carbon dioxide bubbles. So with your gloves on, I'm going to scoot them up and then turn them into carbon dioxide. Watch this. Just like that. Okay. So now I'm going to take that out and use the mug for another experiment. For the next experiment, you will not need any soap. All you do is you get your mug again, fill it up about halfway with water, so it starts to that boil thing again. Then you're going to have to work against the clock because you got to do this quickly. You're going to then need a washcloth. Get it all watery and soapy because that's what you're going to need. I'm gonna zoom in on this for you. And now what you're going to do is take that wash pop you just got and make, try to make a bubble, a bubble film around there. This could take a minute depending on, nope, let's try this one more time. I think I got it. you see, the carbon dioxide is uh, forming a bubble with the soap film we just made. So now let's just see what happens. I'm going to zoom out. So you can see what's going to happen. Whoa, did you just see that? Um, and I'm just going to talk about safety one more time. You must wear gloves. You will get frostbite. Store it in a styrofoam container because it um, has holes in it and the carbon dioxide will not build up in there. Um, and, oh, look, it's making more bubbles. So, um, see the styrofoam? And when you're driving home with it from the store, please remember to leave all your windows open because poisonous gas would be building up in your car. 
Another cool thing you could do with dry ice is blow bubbles above it and try to get the bubbles to float in midair, not popping, staying in one spot. I don't guarantee this to work, but I'll give it a shot. It is pretty hard. Here you go. See that bubble over there? That was just floating. It's supposed to be done in more of a, like a bigger place, but in a bigger block because I used a lot of it. This was once a five pounder.